today's muscle group focus is all about beefing up the chest with some heavy compound movements on the Powertech workbench. First up is an incline barbell bench press to warm up. So 15, 20 reps with about 50% of your usual lifting weight. I'm certainly feeling that warm up in my upper chest. Just a few pointers on technique, and that is when you have the bar directly above your chest, or approximately in the middle, your sternum, make sure when you lower down, your wrists and your elbows are in that same plane of motion as your shoulder. This will keep all of the stress focused purely on the upper area of the chest. Right, let's get some more weight on here and start to overload the muscle in our main work sets. Now, even though I could have got some more reps on there, I stopped at 12, 12 being my ceiling limit. That's because I want to take more weight onto the bar, continue pushing, which is gonna stimulate the muscles in my upper chest to keep growing. If I went too heavy now and fatigued, that's the workout done for the upper chest and I couldn't keep pushing the body. So it's important to pace yourself and push yourself as hard as you can on that final work set with as much weight as you can manage with good form and technique. Speaking of as much weight, let's get some more on the bar and keep climbing upwards. I'm feeling that one. <laughs> now it's time to move on to the next exercise the flat bench press to really maximize as much strength as we've got left for one of the best chest exercises there is. That's been one of my favorite exercises since I first started training. And one of the techniques that I've recently become aware of is incorporating drop sets into the final work set of that exercise. So, I'm gonna add more weight, aim for 10 or 12 reps, and then as soon as I fail, basically take those plates off and continue going with the same weight here to further stress out my chest and encourage and stimulate more growth. Incorporating a drop set to one of the big compound movements such as the bench press is a great way to exhaust the muscle of what little energy you have left. This will surely help stimulate and encourage my body to lay down new muscle fibers to come back bigger and stronger for next time. <laughs> Final exercise for this work set, and that's gonna be decline bench press to work more the underside of my chest. But first, I need to change the weights around. <laughs> Thank <sighs> you. 
Oh. I'm really starting to feel it in my chest now. These compound pressing movements are a great way to add bulk and beef up your chest. But I've still got some energy left to take the weight up one more plate and give it everything I've got for my final work set. Everything counts on this set. really did push me to my limits. A great technique that you can incorporate into many of these compound exercises is to squeeze the muscle that you're working, in this case the chest, upon the final few reps. This will really help bring out the striations and help get you more ripped. Well join me next time when I'll be sharing with you more tricks, tips and techniques on future training shorts. Until then, take care. Bye.